My name is Ailey Barnett. You know, I've had a thought for a couple of days, and I just I've been working it to see where where it would end up at or go to. And see, faith is such an important part in a Christian's life. But my idea was, or the thought was, where would we be without faith? And, you know, faith is, I guess first we need to know what faith is. Or, according to the dictionary, the faith is confidence or trust in someone or something. Or we could say confidence and trust in God and people. Okay, now let's get a little deeper into this. Okay, if we didn't have faith, then there would be no forgiveness. See, John, John, First uh, John, nine one tells us that. If we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful and just to forgive us. So if we didn't have faith, then we wouldn't have forgiveness. So we'd have to believe and have faith in God that He's going to forgive us. But if we didn't have that faith, then there would be no forgiveness. Okay? Now, if we didn't have faith, there would be no prayer. Because Matthew uh, 21, 22 tells us, If you believe, you re will receive whatever you ask in prayer. Now, see, believe and faith, even though they're two separate words, are pretty much the same thing. Just faith has carries a little more weight than belief does. And we have to have faith that God hears our prayer. And we have to have faith that God's going to answer our prayers. And if we don't have faith, then God don't hear our prayers. And God won't res respond to our prayers. And it, it don't matter if you're praying for to um, for financial problems, health problems, family problems, marital problems. If we don't have faith, then none of that prayer won't we won't receive an answer. But with faith. God answers. And if we didn't have faith, then we, we would have no hope. See, Hebrews 11 1 tells us, Now faith is a confidence of what we hope for and an assurance of what we have not seen. So faith, we have faith and gives us hope. We have faith because we hadn't seen God. We hadn't seen Jesus, but there were still people that were alive. When Jesus was alive on earth and people saw Him, they still didn't believe. And see, it says, um, it tells us that that where we have an advantage, we don't see Him, but yet we believe. And, okay, now, now if we had no faith, then there would be no way we could please God. See, Hebrews 11.6 tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So that's just pretty much cut and dry. Without faith, you cannot please God. You can try all you want, but if you don't have faith, then 
you want you can't do it. So if you want to please God, have faith. And I guess the last and most important question that I could think of is without faith there would be no salvation. Because Ephesians 2 verse, uh, verse 8 tells us, For it is by grace we are saved through faith. See, it is the mercy of God that we are saved. But first we have to have faith. First we have to believe. So without that belief and without that faith, God can give all the mercy and all the grace. But if you don't believe, then you won't be saved. So these people that say that that they don't they don't believe this or they don't believe that. They would be just, we would be just like they are without faith. And where would we be without faith? Nowhere. I'm Ailey Barnett. Remember, keep reading, keep believing, and keep it faith.